hello and welcome to another episode of the Socrato TV. And for those who are new to our channel, at the Socrato TV, we usually discuss uh, the issues of import or important issues in Kenya. And uh, the aim or the goal of our discussion is actually to help people uh, understand these issues and also be part and parcel uh, of assisting people make good decisions. Uh, and even the government can also uh, use our information to shape some of its policies. Now, in today's uh, analysis, I want us to look at the recent tour that the President of the Republic of Kenya, that is Dr. William Samuel Ruto, is making. In fact, today is in Homa Bay. Uh, yesterday he was in Migori, and uh, also he took some time uh, in Kisumu City. So I want us to actually see uh, it in a very deep perspective, and uh, the aim of this video, I want actually to debunk this issue of calling it a development tour, and actually, for me, I think it's more of a campaign tour. Uh, whereby the president is actually but campaigning uh, for 2027. And in this video, I will actually explain to you why I believe that this movement that the president is doing, uh, by we've even seen him sh sharing very uh, photos of crowds, large crowds of people, will only but uh, have very, very short-term effect and within a few weeks or a few days, the ground will be to its default settings. Because for me, I believe that the issues that are affecting people are economical issues, very deep issues. Uh, it is not only political issues that are affecting people. So before we start looking into our discussion today, maybe for those who are yet to subscribe, I will give you an opportunity uh, to subscribe so that we can continue with our conversation. Welcome back. Now, uh, I am aware if you've been following Kenyan politics or if you've been just on social media, it doesn't matter even if you've followed politics or if you've watched news, uh, you will realize that there are photos or videos being shared uh, from government bloggers and people aligned with government whereby they are showing very large crowds eh? where people are uh, some are praising the president president is greeting people some are uh, together with the president just having fun and uh, one will uh, likely assume that this is to indicate or to show that now the president is loved eh? is loved by people he has been accepted he has changed issues in the country uh, that is not the case. Uh, what is actually happening here is that these crowds, majority of these crowds, if not all of, all of them, are hired crowds, whereby some people have been paid a huge amount of money to mobilize people so as to come to attend this uh, function and create a perception uh, that the president is someone who people want to to associate with or people want to uh, to actually be together with and uh, to be specific this is very very important in the region of nyanza considering that this is the place or region where president william samuel ruto received the least amount of votes so what he's doing he actually wants to make people believe that the ground has shifted and he is now liked all across uh, the country, Kenya. And uh, this is actually coming a few days after uh, the president, together with the former Prime Minister Raila Amolo Odinga, decided to form some kind of working partnership or working relationship, which they still deny whereby they argue that they are not in any working relationship. But we can all see that they are in a working relationship. So strategically, uh, it seems, or what is there is that Raila Molodika has accepted actually to work with Dr. William Samuel Ruto and 
give himself uh, and even his political base to Dr. William Zamoy Ruto. And if you are keenly following, you can see that it is there is a high possibility that Raila Molo Odinga will support Ruto in the year 2027 because Ruto is also very focused to make him the AUC chairperson. But if uh, AUC chairperson uh, leadership position doesn't really come back come to Kenya that is if assuming Raila Molo Odinga doesn't win it I think it will be a different case eh? and I will also look at that in my coming video now if in Raila Molo Odinga manages to clinch that position then be sure or be prepared uh, that Ruto will try to coax Raila Molo Odinga to tell his support his supporters that is the people who voted for Raila Molo Odinga to vote for Ruto so that is the uh, kind of arrangement that is between Ruto uh, and Raila Amolo Odinga now this issue that is being dubbed or the, is it a function eh, as development tour the reason i am saying it's not a development tour and i'm calling it a campaign is because uh, I have been following the Constitution of Kenya. I read the Constitution of Kenya. And in the Constitution of Kenya, it's very clear that each and every individual is actually supposed to be given development. Eh? You are not supposed to be given development on the basis of where you voted. Voting is only but a democratic process in Kenya that is used to select a leader because we have many people in Kenya who may want to be a president. So, uh, logically, it will not have been possible for all people to be president. So, we, we designed a system whereby we can use to come up with a leader. But that doesn't mean that those who vote for that leader are the ones who are supposed to, to get development. So, if the president walks to your place or to your region and claims that he's going to give you development, I think uh, it will only but be you will only be a foolish person to actually uh, listen to that or to believe what he's saying. I don't uh, say that he has no influence. He can influence some kind of development, but if we permit him or if we continue tolerating that, then we will not really be adhering to our constitution. The constitution of Kenya is very very clear as the lawyers say. So why would a president be working in places launching projects which can actually be done in whether he comes there or not? What the president is doing, he wants to have his presence there to associate with people so that people can feel him. He did this with Mount Kenya region whereby he was visiting them each and every time. I'm not sure if he will also manage in these other regions. Uh, but from what I see, it, is, it will be a very, very tough game. It will be a tough game for him to manage, considering that currently he's associated with lies. Eh? He's not really a person that uh, uh, people will associate with anything credible. And I think uh, that is why I've, I find it very difficult for people to really vote for him 2027. Now, uh, as I come to the end of this analysis, I would also like to uh, be very realistic here. Now, the current situation in the country is that people are not very happy in terms of their economical well-being. People are suffering. There is no money in their pocket. And the president promised that in his bottom-up economic model, uh, he will ensure that people are empowered economically. But that is not happening. So, if people are struggling, people are not happy with how the economy is running, where on earth will such kind of people go to attend the president's rallies and congratulate him and sing for him, if not that, that they have been given something? These people that you are seeing there are not there voluntarily. One, majority of them, over 60%, are there for some cash they have been given. Maybe 10% to 20% are there because they just want to see Ruto. Who is this Ruto? Who is this guy? Who is this person who does not say the truth? So they are there just for, to like they are tourists. Eh? They just want to see him. While others, those who are, have not been paid, you will never see them uh, attending any function of 
uh, the president so you should not believe or you should not actually buy those photos that are being shared those photos are very superficial they are not deep enough to actually show what is happening in, uh, on the ground and uh, what i foresee here is that since this is a very superficial way of politicking that's for the purpose of pr it will be with a very short lifespan i will not be surprised if the president lives where he is then after one week you hear people protesting against him there i will not surprised if those people who have uh, been availed avail themselves to the president's uh, function if they did not vote for him the year 2007 that should not surprise you because what is happening in these regions is not solving the economical problems or the economical issues that these people are suffering people want uh, the president even to come up with a new a good model of education we have a very poor model that is not really favorable to the people we have a new system of health care which is also not favorable taxes are increasing there are no drugs in hospitals so how, how can you really tell me that people are enjoying uh, meeting the president i think that we will be lying to ourselves we need we, we should not continue really lying to ourselves and um, if you are not happy with what the president is doing or if you are not happy with the current situation in the country i think it is high time we uh, continue calling out what is bad and if something good is done congratulate it for instance you should not shy away uh, uh, to do work like for instance the guy called marara is doing if the project has not been done call it out ex expose it you know you, sh you should not assume that that project will not affect you that a project can affect you either directly or indirectly continue pinpointing the important issues eh, that should actually be addressed ignore the photos ignore those kind of pr stunts that are being pulled and focus on the real uh, economical issues that will have impact on you uh, so that we can move forward as a country and not depend on uh, pr stunts i don't know what you think about this you can also throw your opinion so that i can listen what you think uh, about this so-called development tours until we meet again bye bye